Hello and welcome to The Power of Positive Thinking. My name is Emily Whelan and I'm here to help you learn how to develop and grow a more positive mindset. And I hope you've been enjoying the weekly video so far. So I'll be posting a weekly video every Tuesday. So be sure to check in every week with some new developments and tips and ideas. So this week I want to talk about how we can overcome the fear of failure in five very simple but very effective steps. So number one, the first thing I would like to bring to your attention is there is no such thing as failure. There is only opportunity to learn and grow. So we're all going to be faced with failure at some point in our life. We're going to make mistakes along the way. There's going to be setbacks and things like that got there that happen. And that's just part of the course. So there's always going to be that temptation to quit whenever you're faced with these setbacks because you can feel like your confidence has been knocked. You can feel like just what am I doing this for? And you can feel like you just want to give up. But don't give up. Never give up on your dreams and goals because if we don't make mistakes, we're never going to learn to move forward and we're never going to learn from them. So again, just look for the opportunities to learn and grow. Um, you know, try something new. Maybe you need to move the goalposts. Maybe you need to switch things up a bit. Maybe you need to come from a new approach. Um, you know, doing the same thing over and over again and expecting different results um, is not going to move you forward. So again, sometimes we have to just take the time out just to reevaluate um, what, what might be happening. So remember to ask yourself, what are the opportunities here for me to learn and grow from? You know, it's much better than taking that approach and sitting back and beating yourself up about it and not moving forward. So number two, what I want you to think about now is I want you to make friends with failure. Okay, so just bear with me. Over the years, I have learned to make friends with failure. If I'm not failing at something, I'm not learning, I'm not growing, I'm not stretching, I'm not pushing past my comfort zone. And I have become great friends with failure. And this is a shift in my mindset that has really allowed me to conquer a lot of my fears, um, a lot of uh, limiting beliefs around maybe not feeling good enough or not being worthy. And it's just been invaluable in terms of my, you know, my personal growth. Think about the setbacks and failures as well. You know, the more of those setbacks and failures that you experience, the more clarity you have on your goals and dreams. And, you know, you don't have to um, know the end result before you begin. You know, you just have to take the first step. So don't be afraid of failure. Become friends with failure. Number three. Have you ever heard of that saying, failure is a seed to success? Well, I firmly believe this. If you think about that, failure is the seed to success. And we reap what we sow. What we put into something, we reap the rewards later down the line. And we all have to start somewhere. We all have to start with the first step. Everybody has to start at the beginning. In fact, there has been so many stories you hear of successful people, of famous people that have gone on to achieve amazing success in their life. And they had so many setbacks and so many failures and so many knock knockbacks, uh, but they kept going and they kept moving forward. So again, like they had to start somewhere as well. So remember, you reap what you sow. So just to give you a couple of examples of some successful people that I admire, uh, Katy Perry is a well-known musician and pop star, and I've had been admiring her and following her career for the last few number of years. And when she started, she left high school in 1999 to pursue her dream um, of being a musician, being a pop star. But it didn't happen overnight. It took, you know, several years for her to get um, that fame, that recognition as an artist. In fact, she was dropped by three record labels along the way. Um, she faced setback after knockback after knockback. And it wasn't until her first, fourth deal that came along in 2006 
that she got the hit single with I Kiss the Girl, so which seemed to almost turn her into an overnight success. But we all know that there isn't really a such thing as an overnight success. It takes determination, it takes courage, and it takes persistence. I'm sure many of you have heard of the writer, the very famous writer Stephen King, who has written so many successful novels over the years, many which have been turned into Hollywood movies for us all to enjoy. And again, he faced lots and lots of setbacks in the beginning of his career. In fact, when he first wrote the book Carrie, he was rejected 30 times before he got that book published. You know, imagine the, the feeling of rejection, um, the knock on his confidence, but he never gave up on his dreams. He kept going and he kept pushing forward until he, he finally got um, that publishing deal for his book, Carrie. And just lastly, one more, I'm going to look at Thomas Edison, the famous inventor that invented the electric light bulb. And he failed over a thousand times and the creation of this invention. Imagine that a thousand times. And a reporter asked him, you know, uh, when you when you were failing, you know, a thousand times, how did it feel? Like how did you come through that? And he replied, Well, I didn't fail a thousand times. It took a thousand steps to create and invent the electric light bulb. I just thought, wow, what an amazing way of looking at it. And that's just so powerful and so inspiring. So just remember, failure is the seed to success. Okay, number four. The biggest failure that you can have in your life is to never try and to live with the regret. I kind of have this motto that I live by, which is have no regrets. And Every time I'm faced with indecisiveness or I'm not sure if I'm on the right path or this, you know, this isn't the right decision or right choice for me to make, I always ask myself this very, very simple but very, very effective question. Will I regret not doing this? And I always get my answer. So again, the fear of regret always outweighs the fear of failure in my book. And finally, we come to number five, which is learn the art of persistence. If you have goals and dreams, never give up on them. Persistence is key and will always pay off in the end. I know that because I've been there myself and I've learned to grow and develop that muscle for myself. So again, simply by writing it somewhere, you, you'll see it every day, big bold writing, stick it on your fridge, stick it on your bedside table, you know, use some positive affirmations to help you grow that persistence muscle and develop that muscle in your mind. It's really, really worth the time and effort and dedication to learn to be persistent so that you continue to work towards your goals and dreams and never give up. Remember, if you don't believe in yourself, how do you expect others to believe in you? Remember that book deal, that new career, that passing an exam might be just around the corner um, if you stay persistent and follow the path. I mean, you could be faced with rejection after rejection after rejection. You could be trying 50 times, maybe 100 times, but it might just be around the next corner. It could be your 101st attempt before you achieve that goal, before you reach that milestone. So never give up. Be persistent with your dreams and goals. So those are my five tips to help you overcome the fear of failure. And you know what you need to do? You need to start taking action and you know incorporating some of these ideas into your plan so that you can start preparing yourself mentally. And again, as always, thank you so much for tuning in today. It's been my pleasure to record these videos weekly for you. I really hope you're getting something out of it. Feel free to contact me at any time if you have a question or maybe you're struggling with something in particular. I'd love to help you. You know, visit www.emilywhelan.com and you can email me at info at 
If you like this video, please share it. It might help somebody else. Sign up to my newsletter as well. And I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.